Alrighty, welcome back everyone. We're here for our final round, hoping to get a measly 2-3 after going 1-3 in some rough games. Um, this looks like a keep. Yep, pretty fine hand, relatively speaking. Got some rituals, got a remand for interaction, and an opt. So hopefully we can find some stuff that we need. Our opponent Morgan is down to 5, unfortunately. He's on a serum vision, so the watery grave tells me probably Grixis Death Shadow if I had to have a guess. But let's see. Got another ritual. We will pass the turn to the opponent to see what they do. Flooded Strand. Hmm. Interesting. I'll opt. Um, yeah, we can take a slide. I think that's fine. Spire Bluff isn't exactly what we needed. I think I'm going to hold up Roman this turn, just because I'm not really sure what we're against. Yeah, it looks like... Hmm. Just straight Grixis. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure what we're playing against. There's Burrell, which is not bad. But for now, I'm going to slight and hold up our mat. Gift's pretty sweet, right on time. Pass it back to the opponent. Generally, if this is like straight Grixis control or something like that, you generally want to play pretty slow. And the reason why is like you want to build up to a turn where either they tap low or something like that, where like if they're not putting a clock on, you don't have to go off, as it were. You can wait until you find a window or until you have to and you're willing to fight. I'm interested by all the fetching tapped, which. I think signifies that this probably is not Death Shadow. So we're just going to keep on making land drops. See what happens. Lightning Bolt us. That's fine. I just realized they're opponent Mulligan, so that might be a bit of why they're not doing very much. The fetch and shock, sure. Hmm, so they're gonna snap. Snap and bolt us again. Which gives us a chance to just resolve this gifts I'm given, I think. This is my incept though, so that's something to consider. I could just also remand it. Hmm. Yeah. It seems kind of free, I mean, though the problem is, is that like I didn't want to just discard. I guess I could have and then discarded uh, Passing Flames for free, and that would have been fine, but... Alright. So, if we play Burrell and they counter, we can go Ritual, Ritual, Morphos, Morphos, we have four mana still. Hmm. 
probably was right just to let it go, actually. I think I misplayed that. Um... Sure, that's fine. Pass it to the opponent. Who thought scours themselves? Serum visions, sure. Still have plenty of time here. Bottoms and tops. Goblin Electromancer. And that makes me want to just go for it again and tax their resources while they don't while they're still limited. Metamorphos. Maybe an electrolyze here. Close this man. Sure. So we can make three, five, six, seven, eight. That means we can gifts. We still one off. No, we have the extra mana here. Perfect. Is that right? Yeah, because we'll be able to use the ritual while it's still floating, because Goblin Electromancer won't be dead yet. Mm -hmm. So we can just do the standard pile here. Grab our last pyretic. Done. We got another Goblin Electromancer, anyways. It's quite funny. Um, I'll discard this alt because I would like the extra mana. So I'll make two. Two. So now we can play the Electromancer, play Passive Flames for three. And yes. Opponent scoops it up. Seems only fair. I actually think I put us into a bit of a quandary there because I was not thinking about the fact that they like kid. So I was playing very, very conservatively, where I think I could have played far more aggressively. So since we're against control, we want to spell some Kikadra's business. It looks it's hard to tell. We saw a bunch of fetch lands, but they did hit up to six lands. So that makes me think it's more control, plus we saw Snapcaster, so I don't think it's a Death Shadow deck. I think it's a control deck. So we'll do Dispel on the Giga Drowses. Then there's a question of gifts versus pieces. And I think we just... Um, I think I'm going to bring in half the pieces. And... So we cut to these. Um, there's a consideration for empty, but they, you know, if I had to guess, they're probably a damnation deck. I'm trying to think if they would keep their damnations in post board. Um, 
I think I'll try it. We'll see what they they look like post board, but I think two one is perfectly defensible. And for my last cut, um, I think I'll cut one remand here, just cause like it's, uh, I mean it's kind of tough because remand is a way that we interact with the stack. You know, if they slap a cryptic down when we're trying to go off and we remand it, it basically was a counter spell. But um, yeah, okay. I'll take one opt out and I'll leave the remand in. I think it sounds like a slightly more utility there. They might bring in something like Leyline of the Void, which we could bring in Echoing Truth for, but I I kind of don't want to play around it until I see it. We got game one. This is going to be a mulligan, but if we had like one land, this would be almost perfect. Um, Yeah, we can try this. I'm going to put Gripshaw on the bottom. We have the gifts here, so... I mean, they might be playing things like Thoughtseize. Making us discard cards, take our gifts, make us feel sad. It's fine. This spell is okay. It's probably, there's better draws in the deck, I think. Um, I think I'll just take a ritual here. We have the Goblin Electromancer already, and we can wait until we're ready to go off. I mean, I could have taken another one just for redundancy, but I don't think that's really necessary. Um, I guess we will play an island. Like, we're going to get to the point where eventually we're going to Giga Drowse and just go off. Like, once we have the crucial turn. So I'd rather make it, like, okay, let's get all of our stuff together. <laughs> Drown Catacomb. Interesting. I'm pretty happy that we're just making land drops now. Like, that's one of the most important things in these matchups, is just making those land drops where you can. Dang. The Thought Scour attack. Um, I guess there's a consideration here for trying to resolve gifts, but... I'm not too worried, because we have the Dispel. It's probably right, but I already auto-yielded. <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest. Um... Yeah, take our beats. So opponent shocks themselves. Which makes me think probably cryptic command. Pieces is actually a reasonable pickup there. I think I might just run this pieces out, and if they counter it, we can just dispel. Or, I mean, we could save it as well, but I kind of like just using our mana where we can. Alternatively, I, I wouldn't mind, like, waiting until their turns and gifting if I had the extra mana, but I think I'll just go for pieces here. Let's see what the opponent does. Thoughts guys themselves. Interesting. Oh jeez. I mean this is kind of the downside of pieces of the puzzle. Sometimes you get a bit of a whiff. But we got past some flames, so that's not a bad pickup. And I'm pretty happy we kinda of just got a free resolution there.
Um, yeah, I think I'll just dispel this. Because I think we're just on the Giga Drow's plan at this point. If they want to fight over this, this is perfectly fine. Okay. You get our empty the Warren, so be it. But we still have grape shots. I'm actually really surprised that the opponent's surgical now, given that they know we have passed in flames. That seems a bit like a misplay. Like. Hmm. I feel like there must be better things to wait for the surgical, but. Perhaps it shows just how afraid of empty they are. It might mean they don't have any sweepers. So maybe we should bring in the other empty post board. I'm interested in the fact they still shocked. So I think we'll probably take our draw step this turn and then just wait and kick it around the majority of their lands now that they've used their dispel as well to fight over that. Snap. What are you gonna surgical now, boss? Yeah, okay. I'm really interested that they used their dispel given that they had a snap in hand and they were in a snap surgical. Maybe they take pieces of the puzzle? Did they not exile this once? What is going on? Did they accidentally misclick? Yeah, it looks like the opponent really unfortunately misclicked. And they didn't exile both the ones. That's actually kind of a shame for the opponent, but. Um. So we have pieces in there, Desperate Ritual, a bunch of stuff. So we can go, if we Giga Drowse this turn, we next turn go Goblin Electromancer, Pyretic Ritual, Gifts, so we don't actually, well we can just Pyretic Ritual, Pass in Flames, Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, then we can Gifts. So it can go off if they don't have another piece of interaction. also pieces of the puzzle which is sort of interesting to me um so the the reason why we're considering it now is like do we serum visions now or do we giga drows this turn i think because the the opponent's missing land drops so i think it's better probably to go for the giga drows plan right now Tapping four mana for cryptic bounce my spire bluff canal, which means I can just resolve gifts I'm given now. Seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, I don't know about this play from the opponent. I guess we makes us wait one more turn, but it makes us going off a lot safer. I'm not going to grab Grape Shot now because I want to play around. Uh... <coughs> did I take out Noxious Revival? Oh, unfortunately, I did. Um, I kind of want to play around. Um... We can just grab pieces, I think. Or we can grab another Gifts if we want to.
Uh, oops. Metamorphose. And I think it's pieces or guests. I'll just take pieces of the puzzle. Just to be a little bit more mana efficient then. It's a bit awkward because it makes our Giga Jaws plan a little bit slow. Like, we're going to have to play a tap one again to tap down three of their lands. But I feel like it's pretty aggressive to use Cryptic Command there to tap out. Like, you can probably just wait. Oh well, opponent and I are misplaying. <laughs> We got these. Um, again. Alright, so they give us pieces and morphos. Sure, that's fine. I think I'll just discard the serum visions. Yeah, that's fine. Because next turn we can go pieces. Spire buff can have pieces. Okay, if it makes the fifth land drop. Might mean that they're a bit cryptic flooded actually. Hmm. Okay, that's sort of interesting. Um, I think in I normally would want to discard the Passing Flames, but I feel like they probably are. Tr they might be trying to bait Surgical, and I feel like it's just safer in my hand. So I'm gonna discard the Metamorphose, given that we know we're gonna make our land drop as well. Kind of interesting because I had to discard it anyways, so I'm not sure there was a ton of advantage to that. So I'm going to take Desperate Ritual and Renan. We have all the things we need now. Giga Draws has ended up being a little bit awkward. I would have been probably going off this turn. If it wasn't for the Colgan's command, actually, because that changed the clock slightly. Alright. Now we're going to go for it. We have no more time left. So the question is, well, we can't remand this, so we have to let this go. Then we're going to ritual a million times. The opponent might just have a counter for uh, passing flames, but we may as well call it. Let's see what they have. Please, one time. No results. Interesting. Now we get to play a lot of rituals. I kind of want to cast a Metamorphose now, just to make some blue mana, so we have access to Remand. Maybe they're going to counter now. Could very well be reasonable. And I discard a card. Yes, that is perfectly fine. I will discard Giga Drows. Hmm. 
Link to blue. Um, let's see. So we still need to find our grape shots. <coughs> so opponent is at 14. I think we... have to use pieces of the puzzle to try and get there. We have two attempts. Here we are. Woohoo! Good games, opponent. All right. Well, that wraps up our league. Perhaps not the tightest play, but I mean, in summary, Blue Red Storm's a complicated deck. It's got a lot of depth. It's really fun actually to play because it's kind of like you're always putting together a puzzle. Um. I hope today we saw like enough of a wide matchup. So we got a little bit unlucky, and I think online, just the now, Storm is a little bit getting hated on, mostly because it's such a good deck. But, um, you know, we had some good matches. We had some match matches. Finished 2-3, um, and I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun watching, and if you did, make sure you like, you comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. You can also check out some of the articles we've written from team members like me on Team Vault for Magic. There's also D&D &D articles, and there's going to be more content for role-playing games as well on murphysvault.com. And make sure you check us out for any of your singles or see what product needs. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Howdy's, guys.